55-year-old Barbara Morgan is patient. In 1985, the school teacher was selected as the backup to teacher astronaut Krista McAuliffe, who later died with six others in the Challenger explosion. Morgan remembers being selected. We were all really excited and really thrilled to be doing what we were doing. And uh, Krista was, you know, she was, is, and always will be our teacher in space and our first teacher to fly. After the accident, plans for a teacher in space were shelved. Morgan went on with her life, raising two sons and teaching young people. Okay, when you're painting, it's different. In 1998, she rejoined NASA as a full-fledged astronaut. Hi, I'm Barbara Morgan. I'm joining this class as an educator mission specialist. She was to fly on a 2004 shuttle mission. That was later scrubbed as the shuttle program reorganized following the Columbia accident in 2003. Next Tuesday, astronaut Morgan is trying again, part of a seven-person shuttle Endeavour crew making NASA's 22nd flight to the International Space Station. I'll be one of the robotic arm operators, so I'll be using the space shuttle arm and the space station arm to help us move some of these pieces of equipment as we attach them onto the station. And I'll be helping uh, with the, on the flight deck coming home or during what we call entry of the space shuttle back to Earth and, and helping with everything we do to make sure we come, come back home safely. Navy Commander Scott Kelly is commanding the seven-person crew that has been training for months. Charles Hobaugh is Endeavour's pilot. Astronauts Rich Mastracchio and Dr. Dave Williams of the Canadian Space Agency are returning to space for their second missions. First-timers in space, NASA astronauts Elvin Drew, Tracy Galdwell, and Barbara Morgan round out the crew as mission specialists. The risks are the same for an educator or a physician or an engineer or a pilot or a chemist and anyone, anyone else who flies in space. We're doing it to learn, we're doing it to explore, we're doing it to discover, we're doing it to help make this world a better place, and, and we're doing it to help keep those doors open for our young people. Like all shuttle missions, STS-118 is about the future, bringing the International Space Station a step closer to completion and gathering experience that will help humankind return to the moon someday, eventually go to Mars, and perhaps beyond. Paul Sisko, VOA News.